Hello everyone, I am Janani. In today's video, we would be discussing an interesting problem in which we will compute the column number for the corresponding column label in Excel. So, in Excel, the columns are labeled from A. That is, the, uh, the column A is going to correspond to the first column column B is going to be your second column, column Z is going to be your 26th column. Since after Z we run out of alphabets, the column na naming begins from AA. That is AA is going to be your 27th column, AB is going to be your 28th column, AC is going to be your 29th column and AZ and so on and AZ is going to be 52. 52 is that 26 plus 26. Now if you go to the uh, second sequence that is the second sequence begins from B, uh, B that is BA is going to be 53 and then so on ZZ is going to be 702. So our task is that given the column label of the uh, excel sheet we have to compute the column number corresponding to it. Okay. So now let us try to find the algorithm which can be used to find the column number from the column label. That is in Excel by default the columns are labeled from A that is A, B, C, D, so on up to Z. So this is going to be a first column, second column, third column, fourth column up to 26. But as but as we reach the column Z, after that we run out of alphabets and so in Excel the columns are labeled like AA, AB, AC, AD and so on up to AZ. So this AA is going to be your 27th column, AB is 28th column, AC is 29th column and AD is going to be your 30th column and so on AZ is going to be 52nd column. So this 27 can actually be written as, as 26 plus 1, this is 26 plus 2, 26 plus 3, 26 plus 4 dot 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 until 26 plus 26. So now let us try, uh, try writing the same for the next sequence that is BA, BB, BC, BD up to BZ. So, so this BA is going to be 53rd column, BB is 54th column, BC is 55th column, BD is 56th column and this is going to be 78th column. So uh, we have written the columns for BA, BB, BC, uh, BD up to BZ. So this 53 can actually be written as 26 into 2 plus 1, this is 26 into 2 plus 2, this is 26 into 2 plus 3, this is 26 into 2 plus 4 then it is 26 into 2 plus 26. So we have written the sequence for um, B. Now let us write the last sequence for the 2 length that is going to be ZA, ZP, ZC, ZT so on up to ZZ. So this can be actually written as 26 into 26 plus 1. 26 into 26 plus 1, 26 into 26 plus 2, 26 into 26 plus 3, 26 into 26 plus 4, the last ZZ would be 26 into 26 plus 26. So we have successfully written for the 2 length labels. Now let us try writing for the 3 length label. So for 3 length label, it begins from A, 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 B, A, A, C, so on up to A, A, Z. So this can be written as 26 into 26 into 1 plus 26 into 1 plus 1. So to understand this, let us consider a simple example that is if you take a number something like 111, this 111 can actually uh, be written as this is going to be your 1's place, this is going to be your 10's place and this is going to be your 100's place. So this can be written just as 1 and this 11 can be um, actually written as 10 into 1. This can be written as 10 into 10 into 1. So if you sum this up, you will be getting 1 plus 10 plus 100 which is going to be 111. So something similar to this 
we will be trying here to a a a but instead of tens it would be in the form of 26. So, here it would be actually uh, just 1 that is the index of a is 1 and here it is going to be 26 into 1 and here it is going to be 26 into 26 into 1. So, if you sum this you will be getting 703 which is the column number corresponding to triple M. So, uh, the formula is something uh, like this that is um, if you get a 3 letter word something like this then here you would have done 26 power 2 into 1 plus 26 power 1 into 1 plus 1. So, if it is going to be something like B A C then it is going to be 26 power 2 into the label of P that is going to be 2 plus 26 power 1 into label of A is going to be 1 plus 3. So, this is how we will compute the column number corresponding to the column label in Excel. So, now let us try coding this in Python. So, let us just try figuring out the logic for it. So, now uh, the sample test cases are given here that is if it is A A it is going to be 27 that is 26 plus 1 and if it is A B C it is 731 here 731 is just uh, 26 power 2 into 1 plus, 20, uh, plus 26 uh, into 2 plus 3 ok. So, now let us discuss the iterative method in which we can solve this problem. So, first we will write a function which will compute the label uh, for the uh, single length columns def label of letter. So, now uh, let us create a string which is going to have all the alphabets ok. In Python, the indexing by default de uh, begins from 0. So, we have to return uh, the index plus 1. So, it is going to be return string dot index of letter plus 1. So, now let us try printing the column name for a single, uh, single length column that is print label of So, the column uh, is 1 which is getting printed. Now, let us write the next function which is going to compute the column number corresponding to the columns which whose uh, length is greater than 1. So, we will make use of the label function there. So, now this call is going to take the uh, input that is the column label as the uh, input. Now, we will create a variable known as call num and initialize it to 0. So, first we will check whether the length of the column is 1 or not. If the length of the column is 1, then we will just use the label function and return the label. If not, then we have to use a for loop in which we have to iterate and then find the final answer. So, here n equals to len of call. If n equal to equal to 1, return label of call. Else, we have to iterate over each and every letter present in the column. So, it can be done by for i in range of n. So, now in for i in range of n, the i is going to begin from 0. That is we are going to take the first letter uh, in the first iteration. So, the first letter should be multiplied with 26 power length of the word minus 1. That is what which we uh, discussed before. It is 26 power length of the word minus 1. Here uh, the length of the word is going to be 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2. So, we have done 26 power 2 into label of A that is 1 plus 26 power 1 into label of A is 1 plus 1. So, 
So, now we can increment the column as follows column plus equals to 26 power n minus i minus 1. The reason why I am doing n minus i minus 1 instead of n minus i is that in uh, python the indexing begins from 0. So, we have to subtract an additional uh, 1 to bring the correct power. So, after this we have to multiply it with the label of that corresponding letter. It can be done by into label of call of i. So, this label is a function. So, okay. So, we can put it something fine. So, now we will return the call num. The answer is 703 and the one which we got from computation was also 703. Okay. So, this is the method in which we can find the column number for the corresponding column in Excel. So, I have written the solution for the iterative method. Try uh, thinking um, try thinking of a method in which you can convert the same program into a recursive program. Thank you.